Dearly beloved, we thank God. We thank God for every opportunity. We thank God. Even this one, we thank God. And um, we are continuing with finding God. And I appreciate God for this program, finding God. And one thing that I will never give up is to say God is good because he keeps teaching us and showing us where to go. Because his life and his, the Lord Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And so we keep finding him, connecting up with him. Now, one other biblical personality, one other biblical personality, this time the man is called Caleb. We have talked about many of them, and we shall keep talking about them. I treasure these biblical personalities because I'm also a person. You are also a person. And so we have lessons that we pick from them. What they did, what they said, and how it was, they continued serving God. And then we also pick lessons from those that were stubborn, those that were sinful, and therefore those that did wrong things so that we can be able to avoid them, and those that did good so they can be able to, you know, to do the good that they did. And so that as we prepare for heaven, yes, we live, we pray, we must prepare for heaven. But as we prepare for heaven, there must be something done here. While we are still here among other people. And so this man, Caleb, teaches us great lessons. But before we dive into what he did, listen to what the word of God says. We find him stated very clearly in Numbers chapter 13. You know the children of Israel were on their way going to the promised land and but they needed to know where they were going they needed to know what the land was looking like they needed to know a bit of geography here and there and so moses and his other members of the team at the guidance of what god had told them they sent spies to go to the canaan land to you know to find out how it was and so the bible says in numbers chapter 13 then the Lord spoke to Moses, actually, saying, Send men to spy out the land of Canaan, which I am giving to the people of Israel. From each tribe, choose a person and send one, everyone, a chief among them. So they picked one, 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 who was a leader among them. And remember, there were 12 tribes, meaning that these were 12 men sent. And in verse 3, so Moses sent them from the wilderness of Paran, according to the command of the Lord. All of them men who were heads of their families in Israel. And these were their names. So they begin naming them one by one. I like the naming. And leaders need to be known. Leaders need to be named. And during our time, when you are father of the family, you need to be known that you are the leader of the family. And so these men were sent. And in verse 6, the man that we're talking about is called Caleb. Caleb was from the club, from, from the clan of, from the tribe of Judah. From Judah, the son of Jephne. And others from Issachar, from Be from Ephraim, from Ze Benjamin, from Zebrun, from uh, Simeon. They sent each one. And so Caleb was from this tribe. And in verse 17, so Moses sent them up to spy out the land of Canaan and said to them, he gave them instructions. One important thing is actually give someone an assignment and give instructions to follow. This is very important. Even in our daily dealings with other people, when you give an assignment, give instructions. And so in verse 17, go up into the land and go up into the hill country and see what the land is. And whether the people who dwell in the land are strong or weak, whether they are few or many, and whether the land that they dwell in is good or bad, and whether the cities that they dwell in are camps or strongholds. And so this, go and find out about the land. Is it easily conquered? How are the people? How is, the, how, is it, how is the setup? How is it organized? And whether the land is rich or poor, and whether there are trees or not, 
And so they went up in verse 21, chapter 13 of Numbers. They went up and spied the land from the wilderness of Zin to Rehob, near Rehobo, Hamas. And they went moving, 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 moving. You know, there was a time we have, we have talked about with the person that hid them, that woman called Rahab, you know, the prostitute, but she has her story and we have heard about her. Now, this these men went and they came to the valley of Eshkol and they moved everywhere. But the whole thing is, it took them 40 days to spy the land. And when they came back, they brought a the report to Moses. And this is just a story that we read every moment. And when they brought the, Moses, the, the story to Moses, it was a positive one. But in verse 28, there, was those, there were those that held a negative report. That however, the people who dwell in the land are strong and the cities are fortified and very large. And besides, we saw the descendants of Anak there, the giants, eh? and the Amalekites dwell in the land of the Negev. The Hittites, and they mentioned the tribes there, and they mentioned all of them. Now, the man, Caleb, the reason why we're talking about him is in verse 30. Even if I didn't talk so much, but in verse 30, these negative thinkers, these, we call them, uh, pretenders, religious pretenders, like we have very many in the church, people who are against, you know, the, in the development, thinking negative all the time. But Caleb uh, quieted the people, said, come down. Before Moses, he told them, let us go up at once and occupy the land, for we are well able to overcome it. And this is the statement that I want to leave with you and it's one of the statements that has given me life that we are well able. Because we serve a mighty God. We serve a great God. We serve a winning God. We serve a conquering God. And some people, even when they come with negative uh, you know, reports, there are things actually that we have looked at and some people think actually we cannot do that here. We have had very many people here. Nobody has been able to do this. But God being with us, I think something can be done. And so the lessons that we pick from this man, Caleb, is very, very important. And you can read on chapter 13, you can read on 14 about, jo about Caleb. And in verse chapter 24, chapter 14, verse 24, in chapter 14, verse 24 of Numbers, God does mention something about my servant Caleb has a different spirit in him, a different attitude than the others, and has followed me fully because of what he did, what he does, of what he did, that he had a different spirit. And so it's something that I pray for, that I may have a different spirit, a different attitude. Even when others seem to be thinking that they are failing, you should be, you should not be one of them. Now, in this numbers, verse 24, he says, and my servant Caleb, you know, because he has a different spirit and has followed me fully, I will bring into the land, I will bring him into the land into the which he went and his descendants said, possess it. Now listen to me. Because of the courageous things that you do, because of the faithfulness that you've exhibited, you know, you benefit yourself, but also your descendants do benefit. And so I'm praying that actually as I work, I work for me. But also my descendants, my children, my grandchildren, so that they can, you know, they can also benefit. And this is what Caleb did. And in verse 30 of chapter 13, it says, we are well able. And so friends, I'm here just to encourage us, to encourage you and to encourage me. About this man Caleb, that actually he stands out in the crowd and he does what is unthinkable. And he says, we are well able. And now they are the ones that could have, should have encouraged the people, bringing a positive report, yes, which they did about the land, fruitful, flowing with milk and honey, yes. But then they said, no, no, but it has, we cannot conquer it because it's bold, it is fortified, it has strong men and, you know, very, very ready for war. But listen to me. Caleb in verse 30 says, we are well able, we shall be able to go in. So friends, one thing that actually learned from Caleb, he stood apart from the crowd. Will you also, during your generation, stand out? And I'm promising myself that I need to stand out even when it means standing alone. Even when it means standing alone, stand out and stand for the truth. And trusting God, fully trusting Caleb, fully trusted God and said you are available. So even if it means standing alone for the truth 
And for what is manageable, because God is with you, do it. And I pledge to myself that I need to believe God in every situation. I need to walk the path of faith. Walk the path of faith. And Caleb did exactly that. Now, we are surrounded with the negative thinkers. Now, you, friend, remain positive. Even when circumstances, even when situations seem to be impossible, for the Bible says that there's nothing that is impossible for God. Caleb knew it. And this pronouncement that there's nothing that is impossible, Jesus pronounces it, and we are glad that it's our Lord Jesus Christ who pronounces them. And so, friends, yes, remain a positive thinker. We are well able, and I am well able. So deal with your life with situations. Deal with your life with situations. Are you a man? Are you a woman? Are you a child? Are you a father? Are you whoever? Are you a leader? Deal with your life with situations. And I thank God that when we read this, we're able to deal with our life situations. The reason why we keep moving on, even the negativity prevails, even when failing fails, I mean it prevails, even when many, many things happen, but we never give up. Because God, who was with Caleb, God, who was with Joshua, God, who was with Moses, remains our father, and he remain king overall. Now, last number three is be resilient, reassuring you know, be refreshing yourself and uh, renew your strength in the might of the Lord. It is waning. It goes down, but renew, revive. Be resilient. You fall, you wake up, you get up. You fall, you get up and say, yes, I'm well able. And I want to ask God's spirit to be upon you and to be upon me. And so you shall not, you never give up. In Isaiah 40, verse 31, the Bible says like those who trust in the Lord, I mean, they will renew their strength like an ego. Renew yourself. Renew your strength. Renew your strength. And Caleb knew where his strength comes from. I mean, I jized about this. And may God, who was with Caleb, to stand as a man, he committed to his cause. He never gave up. The character that we need today. Friends, you need the character Caliber character, never giving up, resilient, positive thinking. Even when it means standing alone, Caleb was. And I know that as I speak this, God may be speaking to you about other virtues that you may find about this man, Caleb. I've spelled out very few, but you need to dive deeper. Are you a man, are you a woman, are you a child, are you a son, are you whoever, are you a daughter? Now dive deeper into Caleb's life. And in verse 30 of chapter 13, numbers that you are well able, and I pronounce that you are well able in whichever situation that you are, that God will see you through. And these people indeed, when they went, Jericho, walls that threatened them, fell. I, the city of I, even when they were repulsed, but they went back and conquered, and they were victorious all through. Because though they continued trusting in the Lord, Jericho fell, I fell, even when there are things that need to go well. But Caleb said, we are well able. May you be well able in every situation that you are. May I be so, even when it means what? But we trust in the living God who is the almighty. And may he keep you. May he keep encouraging, enabling you to move forward. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.